Welcome back to the news at 10. Now, we're assessing 100 days of President Buhari's administration. Our focus is on energy. And joining me to discuss this now is the energy is the editor-in-chief, Sweet Crude Reports, Mr. Hector Ibikuba. Thanks a lot for joining us. You're welcome. Fantastic. How would you assess the sector under the current administration? Let's begin from where Ulu left off there in terms of clear-cut policy direction for the oil and gas sector. Anguish, frustration over non-availability. It's been pretty slow. It's, it's not enough to um, dwell on the president's body language. The industry is in crisis. Shell, Chevron, Mobil, Total, um, everybody is uh, letting people go. The companies are sacking their workers in droves. Even the Nigerian companies who provide services have been left on uh, all points of uh, the president's um, uh, electioneering campaign promise was to create jobs. So if he had promised to create jobs, he can't afford to sit idly by and watch people lose their jobs. So the industry is in crisis. The president needs to come alive to his responsibility. It's not enough um, for the industry to wait on his body language. And again, there's an issue of um, cash calls not being paid. Um, there is no project going on. The industry is all but dead. You know, the industry is in deep, deep crisis. And something has to be done like yesterday. Well, what, what, what would you say about the appointments that he's made so far? You have a new GMD for the NNPC. Um, a lot of people are arguing that perhaps you need to be a bit patient, that something is actually happening. Well, how, how, how much longer do we need to be patient? Um, it's not enough to appoint a GMD. Uh, the appointment of the GMD, even though welcome, uh, is rather cosmetic. We need to see deep changes and we need to see it like yesterday. It is so obvious what the problems are with the industry. Uh, Napins, uh, uh, the arm of the NNPC, which superintends uh, a world of contracts, is a mess. You know, they need to do a total overhaul at Napims. Yes, the refineries, something is being done there. The image of the NNPC is in the gutter. Even the recent appointment of um, this gentleman from Total, Dr. Adeniro, as um, Executive Director um, um, Commercial and Investment, is so, so embarrassing. You cannot have a gentleman who was a Total staff, who deposed to an affidavit against the NNPC in an $81 million plus um, Okay, I'm, I'm sorry I have to stop you there. In terms of what to do now, what you would like to see, what, what do you suggest that he does in the immediate? Well, that is what I'm telling you. When you stop me, I don't understand what you're stopping. I'm giving you facts. Yes, I understand that you're giving me facts. Now we want to see the way forward rather than elaborate the all the problems. Is what is the way forward? The system for that. The system is badly modeled up and you cannot solve it by modeling it up further. That's the way forward. The way forward is to appoint persons who will not cause you embarrassment and to begin to carry out changes. There are templates for these changes. The government invested money in a group of persons who were called uh, uh, eggheads to come up with reorganization of the NNPC. And now that has been jettisoned. And we have changes from out of the air. You know, it doesn't work that way. All right, it doesn't you. work. Thank you, Editor-in-Chief Sweet Crude Reports, for joining us on the News at 10 tonight. And from there, we're going to take a look at some business for the day. Here's Emana Amawe. You first. First Bank.
Welcome to Business News. While tax consultants have been barred from accessing or assessing rather than collecting tax revenue on behalf of the federal government, the new acting chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service, Mr. Babatunde Fowler, said this during a meeting in Abuja when he met with members of the Joint Tax Board. Going by this new directive, consultants will be engaged solely for data gathering, while the assessment and issuance of demand notices for tax due will be done by the FIRS in collaboration with State's Board of Internal Revenue. Mr. Fowler says the objective of the FIRS under his watch is to achieve 99.9% .9 level of tax compliance. Meanwhile, Nigeria's first composite online retail shop, Udala, is set to launch the maiden edition of its mega sales initiative. The program, which centers on schools resumption, Idel Kaber, and Nigeria's independence anniversary is designed as an offer for its online customers. Tagged Udala neighbor to neighbor mega sales, free gifts are expected to be packaged with orders above 50,000 Naira for Udala online and offline stores shoppers across the nation. By the modus operandi of the scheme, shoppers can enjoy 20% deposits for an extended 30-day period, while cooperative members have a 90-day payment window on selected items. The Udala Neighbor to Neighbor Mega Sales kick off on September the 21st through to October the 2nd. The Nigerian Stock Exchange upheld the bullish trend from the preceding week. At the close of the day's trading activities, the All Share Index came in 2.2% higher. Well, stay tuned for the details. Hello and welcome to the Stock Market Report. The first trading day of the week ended in the positive territory as the benchmark index rose by 2.29% to cross the 30,000 psychological level at 30,369.97 points. On the gainers table, brewer giant Guinness laid other advances. Guinness topped with 15 Nara 58 Cobble. It was followed by another brewer, Nigeria Brewers with 6 Nara 78 Cobble and oil stock 40 oil with 5 Nara 65 Kobo. On the flip side, Cadbury shared 1 Nara 9 Kobo and came ahead of Van Leer with 51 Kobo and Ikeja Hotel with 18 Kobo. On the volume chart, bank stocks led by Zenith Bank, Guarantee Trust Bank and FBN Holdings topped the table. At the end of the session, a total of 254.7 million shares valued at 3.8 billion Naira were traded in 3,798 deals. And that's a check on the day's trading figures. I am Bolaji Akimwali. Many thanks, Bolaji. Let's take a look now at how the global markets fared. That is on Business News tonight. I'm Imana Amawe. Ijoma will be back with the rest of the news at 10. You first. First Bank. Still ahead on the news at 10, Nigeria's Egweru Ogoegene claims 100 meters silver at the African Games. And that's on sports. To join us again.